This video is informative. The God of the Dogs Subscribe and leave your like. Hi everyone, welcome to your channel, El Dios de los Perros, The God of Dogs. In this video, we will continue with the history of Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez, the best dogman in the history of Mexico, with a number of victories that no one has equaled to this day. I hope you like the video. Don't forget leave your comment your like and subscribe to the channel. Let's continue with the second part of the history. Continuing with the story. In the early 1970s, Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez Herrera asks Mr. Jorge Diaz to sell him some dogs. There he buys two dogs, Gorky and Norton. Those two dogs I train and lead them to win. At that time a friend of Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez had a boxer breed dog, and he offered it to him to buy. And Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez buys the boxer dog, and names him Whiskey. The Whiskey won three professional matches, the third match of him beat a dog of the line, Stufala Red Lady. So with those two American pit bull terriers and the boxer, Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez began to make his professional debut, and that was where the legend began. Gabriel Rodriguez After this, he bought the Nicky, a dog that was grand champion, winning eight fights. Some time later he acquired a dog called Joe, son of Chamuco, the Mexican Eli, and crossed him with daughters of the grand champion Nicky, Stu Fowler Red Lady. And there he began to form his own line of dogs. The Capulans. The Carlos Quinto. I have to comment that Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez was very jealous of his dogs. Since he never sold, never gave a dog, he preferred to take their lives. He also did not rent stallions to breed, nor to his friends. His line is perhaps the most winning in Mexico, and one of the most winning in the world. Since many champions and grand champions came from there between 1970 and 1995, an incalculable number of champions and grand champions, it is estimated that there were almost 150. This amount is not an exaggeration, nor is it a lie. At that time, Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez professionally fought the dogs every week or every fortnight in various cities of Mexico. He had a large number of people who helped him train the dogs, they were known as Club Rodriguez. But Gabriel Rodriguez was known as the number one, since he beat the best dogmans. He had very good dogs, and great training. Likewise, Club Rodriguez, trained dogs from other teams, including many dog owners, they gave their dogs to make them winners, and some time later, Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez returned them a champion, or grand champion. He had hundreds and hundreds of victories. At that time, the most important dogmans had founded an association of breeders of pit bulls, since Mr. Maurice Carver advised Mr. Enrique Morphin that the authorities of the United States had them in their sights and to protect themselves, 
they had founded an association and they took refuge in the fact that their dogs were used in sports activities, such as weight pool, vertical climbing, spring pole, beauty shows. So, as a precaution, in Mexico they founded the American Pitbull Terrier Breed Association. To say some names of the dogmans that were forming it were Enrique Morfin, Arnoldo Cardenas, Salvador Estudiante, Antonio Bellin, and a long list more. Frequently, meetings were held and renowned dogmans attended. These meetings were held at the company of Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez. One night, someone asked Gabriel Rodriguez how many victories he had, and they decided to count the victories of his dogs. The number then in the late 1990s amounted to more than 450 victories. He remembered that until today, in Mexico nobody has surpassed him. In those victories, other people's dogs were not counted, nor were dogs that had trained and won. Someone said, if we counted all the dogs that I train we would exceed 1,000. Likewise, Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez had some notebooks where he noted the number of champion and grand champion dogs that he had. When the amount exceeded 100, he got bored with counting and stopped counting. Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez had a ranch in the municipality of Cuartitlan Iscale, state of Mexico, Mexico, where he had almost 100 pit bulls and all of them of a high level. Mr. Gabriel Rodriguez, he only had the best of the best. This story will continue in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment and leave your like. Become a member of the channel and enjoy great benefits and unreleased videos including Legends of the American Pit Bull Terrier.